Welcome to the Art of Automation webinar series, where we share new products and features coming from IBM development in 2020. In this segment, you'll see how to use the GraphQL API to create useful linkages to your business systems that leverage content in FileNet. You'll be guided by Matt Vest, Senior Technical Offering Manager for Content Services. As a reminder, last year we launched the Content Services GraphQL API, uh, which is a modern, intuitive API that allows you to retrieve and update uh, precisely what you need. So we've been updating the service frequently with new enhancements, and the most recent is the ability to, to quickly and easily integrate content data into your apps and services uh, via webhooks. So you can... Uh, um, so a little bit about webhooks. Basically what they allow you to do is easily integrate uh, applications together. And so with the Content Services GraphQL uh, API webhook, you can push content data into your applications in, in real time based on some uh, event that, that triggers it to do so. Um, so basically um, the, uh, the triggering events are defined in the API. And uh, you also specify a, a callback URL that you want that content data uh, pushed to. Uh, and then as a result, you can get that, that data, um, you know, very rapidly. And it's very, you know, easy and flexible to, to set up. So um, let's go ahead and actually see that in action. We have a, a demo. Uh, so the first thing this is showing actually is just a basic folder query. So you can see that GraphQL, you can enumerate exactly what you want returned in the payload. So in this case, we're getting a folder and the documents that uh, are contained within it and exactly what uh, we specified in terms of class name, major minor versions was returned. Um, so it's very powerful working with large data sets at scale and very performant. Um, so now we're gonna bounce into the, um, the Knowledge Center and show you the, the webhook uh, Knowledge Center topic where we've got some code samples. And so what we're going to do is demonstrate a scenario in which uh, we'll simulate a, a, an HR onboarding use case where um, we are going to configure a webhook with Slack such that uh, when the document, you'll see here where the subscribed events are update event or creation event. So if a document is either added uh, or updated, it will push a notification into Slack. Um, so you can see here, here's our Slack channel where the, uh, the HR focals monitor for notifications. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we have a, a new resume from a job applicant. Uh, we're gonna upload it into Content Navigator and based on the webhook that's configured, you will see there's a notification that pops up with uh, all the content data um, that, we, uh, that we wanted included. Now keep in mind that we also configured the webhook to uh, trigger based off of updates, not just creation of content. So if we change the employee status from pending to accepted, um, that will also trigger a, a webhook update. And you see here, status has changed to accepted and the, the update was posted into, um, into the Slack channel. So webhooks are very flexible, very powerful, and a great way to push that content data um, into a variety of, of your applications, uh, again, in real time, based on, you know, whatever kind of uh, events uh, that you want to trigger, uh, be that, you know, a document ad or folder created, things like that. And you can learn more about FileNet and GraphQL by following this link.